RMC track has been spotted near Six Flags Magic Mountain, as well as permits that show a coaster layout similar to a Jersey Devil clone. Is Six Flags Magic Mountain getting a new RMC Raptor for 2021? Tune in on Coaster Chat to find out. On the beginning of 2020, we saw the addition of West Coast Racers. This coaster finally got Six Flags Magic Mountain to 20 coasters. And Six Flags has finally completed their goal of having the most coasters in the theme park. But here was the problem. Green Lantern First Flight, which was Magic Mountain's exact spin, was one of the most roughest coasters ever. And lots of people hated this coaster. And there's no way to save this coaster because of how terrible it is. So, also in 2020, we saw the removal of Green Lantern, meaning Six Flags Magic Mountain no longer got the 20 coasters. But is that going to stop them? No, no it's not. Even though West Coast Racers got delayed, and in 2020 Magic Mountain got absolutely nothing, 2021 is looking big for Magic Mountain, and they're finally going to officially get to 20 coasters, and it's not just going to be a coaster that fills the gap of the 20. What do I mean, you may ask? Well. Recently, there's been some pictures of RMC Raptor tracks near Six Flags Magic Mountain. And yes, I know that looks rusty and not painted and looks fake, but actually that is a piece of Raptor track, except it's not painted. And those markings on it is the number of track and where it's headed. SFMM means Six Flags Magic Mountain. And it's not just a track. There's also been a permit by Six Flags Magic Mountain showing a coaster replacing Green Lantern First Flight. If you notice, the coaster starts in Green Lantern First Flight original queue. Plus, the coaster goes over Tidal Wave, meaning most likely Tidal Wave will go away. Even though there's been a lot of reports that there's been a sign saying Tidal Wave will open soon, I highly doubt it because they cannot op operate both rides at the same time. Tidal Wave is most likely there in the picture just for a reference and size. And if you can't tell already by the layout, this coaster will be an exact clone of the Jersey Devil coaster, which is coming to Six Flags Great Adventure in 2020. The new model that Six Flags Great Adventure is getting is a custom RMC Raptor. While there's other RMC Raptors like one rolling Golden Lasso coaster or Railblazer at California's Great America, this new custom RMC Raptors are meant for a little bit more capacity than the traditional coaster and have a longer and more thrilling layout for those parks who want an extreme coaster, but also at a cheap price. This new addition will be great for Magic Mountain, even though there's really poor capacity for this coaster. It's the perfect thrilling coaster Magic Mountain needs for their 20th coaster. But you may be asking, okay, so we already know Magic Mountain's gonna get an RMC Raptor, but by any chance do we know the theme of it yet? Actually, yes we do. If you look at the coaster track pictures again, you can notice the words DC written on the bottom of it. Now, if it's what I think it means, maybe it's already saying this is a DC-themed coaster. Now, I could be wrong, and it obviously means something else, but if I'm right, we already know the theme of this coaster. It's going to be a DC superhero or villain. So I looked at all the DC superhero and villain names that Magic Mountain's currently missing at their park, and one name that stood out to me was a name that almost every single Six Flags park has for, for one of their rides, and that's The Joker. The Joker comes in many, many rides. We have a super loop. We have the free spins, the many, many free spins. And we have the RMC hybrid, and there's probably more that I completely forgot to mention. There's always at least one Joker themed ride in every Six Flags Park, and the only one that's missing it is Magic Mountain. So this is like a 99% chance of being the theme, so I'm pretty sure they would name this coaster The Joker. And usually when they name a ride The Joker, they always put something in the end. Like the Joker, Free Fly Coaster, the Joker, Chaos Coaster, the Joker, Wild Card, and etc. So my prediction name for this coaster is the Joker Laugh Track. I named it Laugh Track because it's actually a unique name and it sounds pretty cool. Plus, it leads into a better idea which I hope they actually do, but I doubt it. And that's an onboard soundtrack. Now obviously I highly, highly doubt they're going to put onboard soundtrack on this coaster because it's Six Flags. But, Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster at Fiesta Texas has a sort of onboard soundtrack when you're going up the lift hill with speakers on the side playing music, so maybe they do the same with this coaster. It's unknown whether or not Jersey Devil Coaster will have this feature, but if it does, maybe the Joker will also have that. 
Plus, you can already assume, if this coaster is named the Joker, most likely the Q line will be a Funhouse theme, because the recent Joker rides have been having Funhouse themed Q lines, which is actually really cool. But I could be completely wrong about this and they end up naming the ride Green Lantern or something because they said DC and they never said specifically the Joker. I'm just assuming Joker because that's the name that almost every Six Flags park gets. But maybe they name it Green Lantern instead to replace that horrible monstrosity of a roller coaster. But here's something you should think about. If Six Flags Matching Mountain is going to get the RMC Raptor, what does that mean for the other Six Flags parks? Usually every year, Six Flags buys one or two RMCs. Two is their limit. They have never bought two or more in one year. So here's what I'm thinking. All this virus thing is causing Six Flags to lose tons of money. So if they do get this giant coaster from Magic Mountain in 2021, other parks would get something smaller or mediocre. So what are the parks that have been rumored to get an RMC Raptor or an RMC of sorts? Those two parks was Six Flags Great America and Six Flags St. Louis. Six Flags St. Louis has saw demolition on one of their water rides and it's perfect space for a brand new RMC Raptor. Not a custom, but a Raptor like Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. And Six Flags Great America is deciding whether or not to continue repairing American Eagle or just straight up RMC it. American Eagle is becoming an old coaster as it is. So Six Flags is deciding whether or not to spend some more money to continue fixing it and then they're going to have to fix it again later on or Use this as an opportunity to add a new RMC hybrid to Six Flags Great America, even though they already have one. Six Flags is in a very tight situation right now. They have low on money, and they have to pick one park or the other, or none at all. And I'm about to say a very unpopular opinion. I think St. Louis is going to get the RMC. And hear me out. St. Louis opened first after this pandemic. St. Louis is attracting more guests, and they've been planning this coaster, well, kind of planning this coaster ever since the beginning of 2020 with removing Tidal Wave. This American Eagle problem was already happening, they already knew. This isn't new. So it only makes sense for St. Louis to get the coaster, as they really, really need it. Because they already removed their attraction. But in Great America's case, they're pretty good so far. They got Max Force in 2019, in 2020 they got Tsunami Surge, so they're pretty set. They can get something mediocre for 2021. Great America isn't focusing much on coasters right now. To solve this problem, they can operate American Eagle for this season and that's it. By the end of the season, they just completely shut down American Eagle for good, and then for the 2022 season, we see the removal of American Eagle, replaced with a brand new RMC. Problem solved. So the two parks getting an RMC this year will probably be St. Louis, and most definitely Magic Mountain, after these new permits and everything. But as an end result, what do you think? Is Six Flags Magic Mountain really going to get a Jersey Devil clone coaster? And if so, do you agree with this addition? Comment below. But anyways, thank you for watching. This is JB Thrills, signing out.